Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video. I'll show you a super easy way in the course of 10 minutes to build a completely functional uh, airfoil shaped foam wing out of nothing but foam board and hot glue. Let's get to it. Using the uh, arm and foam wing technique from Experimental Airlines, this is the Foam Bug 2, the second version I'm building, it's a 42 inch wingspan, 21 inches each side. The materials to build this wing are the foam board, 3 16 inch, you buy it in sheets at dollar store. It's uh, 30 inches by 20 inches, about a dollar each. There is the drywall reinforcing tape to hold these sections together. There's hot glue. And then for the dihedral braces, there are popsicle sticks that I put and hot glued in place. This entire wing, using this technique, you can build in 30 minutes once you get the procedure down. So let's go into detail um, how we uh, build this wing. This is a cross section. What we'll do in the demonstration, instead of building the whole 30 inch or 40 inch wingspan to make it a little bit easier to follow, we'll use a smaller section um, with the foam board. But you can see the advantage of this technique is you get a true airfoil shape. This is very close to a Clark Y airfoil. The spars are the foam board itself, and it's an extremely strong, rigid process for a wing. I, I think you can uh, learn that you can do a lot of things with this wing. So for a moment, let's take a look at the original wing on the foam bug with its maiden flight. Let's see how well the airplane flies now. So now I'll do a demonstration of how to make the arm and wing that I saw on the um, YouTube channel uh, Experimental Airlines. Instead of doing the full 21 inch span or 30 inch span, I'm just going to do a span this wide so it's going to be easier to follow along in the video. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and wind up making this and I'll show you how to do that. In the final result you can see the foam is literally folded back on itself and there's two layers of foam one inch thick that are the spar and by gluing the spars together to the top and bottom it makes a surprisingly strong um, airfoil lightweight and that's what we'll do right now so you can make the width of the wing any size you want in this example i'm going to do a seven inch um, cord or width of the wing so i measure off seven inches along here and then i measure off about seven and a half down here just to have a little bit of extra that I'll show you on the trailing edge. You simply draw the line for the seven inch and then the back of the wing is this line right here. We're also gonna take two one inch spars and cut those out now as well. There's the first spar and the second spar. So this is the wing, it'll fold onto itself spar one, spar two for the wing. Now you have to cut this foam board. Some people use utility knives. I've had very good luck with an X-Acto knife. Um, the thing is you gotta have a sharp blade. So I just have several blades and I just change those out as necessary. It's also good to have a metal straight edge. The blade will wander when you cut the foam and you don't want that to happen. So what we'll do is we will make a cut at the bottom you just do several passes with a light cut. So now we have our wing, scrap, spar, spar. Now, <clears throat> The foam board is 3 16 of an inch thick and it's got paper on both sides. So what will happen is you're going to have to take off the paper to make the uh, fold of the wing work properly as well as the spars because it's going to glue hot glue better onto the foam. The paper is pretty easy to take off. You just peel it off and it comes out like that. And 
what I'm going to do now, this will be the inside surface of the wing. I'm going to take off this whole paper at this time. If, you, if a few little bits of paper stay on, uh, that's fine as well. Now, to help with the fold, we're going to remeasure again that seven inches down. And we'll just put a seven here. So this is going to be the fold line. That'll be the leading edge of the wing. And we'll put another mark here for the two spars. Again, if you put them about an inch back, that seems to work about well to come out with airfoil. So it may be hard to see in the video, but this will be the fold line, and this will be the front of the spar, the back of the spar. Now, because we're going to fold this over, what I do is I take a kind of round knurling pin, and I just crease the foam slightly here. That'll help with the bend. Now if that's done, it is important to have a metal straight edge. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold the wing back on itself. Now the paper on the outside will help keep everything together. It's not going to come down to stay down, but you've created the fold. The next step is to glue the spars, put them on here, fold it again, glue the trailing edge, and then we'll be um, we're done with the wing. So let's take the hot glue. And we'll glue the two spars together. And the hot glue works great. It'll dry in about 20 seconds or so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue the spar in place here. do now is take just a very short break to make sure that the glue dries. So this is dried in place. We're going to fold it over. We'll draw a line along here, trim off this back edge, and then on the bottom of the wing we'll bevel it so that you have a smoother transition and then glue everything in place and we'll be done. So here's the edge of the wing. We'll draw a line just like this. And then with the sanding block, it's important to use a sanding block. Don't use your hand. This is 100 grit. That works about right. We'll just bevel the edge. You can see the bevel on the side, probably about a half inch in. And when we put that together, you get a nice clean edge. Now when you glue this in place, try to keep the glue on the inside. If the glue, if there's too much glue and it squirts out, it's going to make it very hard to sand the trailing edge because you're going to be trying to sand the very soft foam with the hard glue and it just won't work out well. So we'll put a little bit of glue on top here, a little bit, bit, bit of glue along here, and that will be the wing. This is our completed wing. You can see it's really a strong wing. The two spars, and if you want to reinforce them when you put the center together, I put the popsicle sticks in just like that, one to the other. The back end you can smooth up with a little bit of trimming and sanding. Keep the paper on if you're going to use tape to um, cover your model. 
if you're going to take the paper off, I just score a very light line along here with the X-Acto blade. Take the paper off up to this point. If you try to take the paper off around the curve, it'll rip the foam out of place, top and bottom, and then the monocoat can be put onto the bare foam. You can't leave the paper onto the foam because it'll get wet and just it'll start coming off. It will not be a long-term uh, solution for your model. But that, that is how we make the wings. It's an easy, lightweight method to make a foam wing and they fly really great. And again, with a trailing edge, say this is your aileron, you just put that on with a clear tape hinge and you're good to go with the wing for your airplane.